Hello guys, welcome to day 261 from 400 days of learning programming challenge. I'm trying to get back to my prior project, which is creating a online game. And this online game is about uh, asking uh, a question from the user, giving him or her a hint, like a picture, and the user or the player have to choose between these uh, options that he, uh, he or she have. Uh, let's get back to our work. Going to open the project. I created this project about one month ago, but uh, after I uh, received um, I reached my uh, final terms uh, in university I had to get back and um, do some other projects other programming language projects let's get back and see what we have done previously we created a timer we created a picture asking question from the user this is a question and we, it can be uh, anything and this is the picture that can hint give the hint to the user and let me check uh, this timer as you can see if I press refresh it counts from 5, 4, 3, 1 and 6 and this is a problem right? we, we don't want 6 here um, this is the JavaScript we started and this is pen is should not exist four three two one and finished mm. after this um, after the time has been finished we can give the user a alarm that show that you have been lost or win right or or maybe we have to say your time has been finished so let me bring the design of this game this is the design we need four options here that the user have to choose from them we currently work on timer I'm thinking about if I have to work on clock right now or these options because if I want to work on the clock this clock um, have to say your time has been finished and that uh, the game uh, is over or the game is win right so it, this clock depends on these uh, four options so I think first of all we have to create these four options and then get back to change our clock and fix it so creating four options right mm, and the user have to choose between one of them so these four options are four buttons or four div tags but the buttons will be okay we'll do the job and um, but we need to put these four items these four buttons on a div tag so we can put it under this big box and The class of the, this div box is QA. QA.
here is the div tag right why did we put these scripts here it should be at the end Let me check the container class. Where is container class? This is the container. Why the div class of QA and the container is at the same size? So let's create another thing here container like a div tag and we have to create four buttons here button one two three four Two of them should be at the left column and two of them should be at the right column. So maybe we need to create a grid, display grid for them, right? So um, let's create a class for this called, or maybe ID. We have create ID and Mm, let's call it answers option and this uh, let's create a CSS page new text uh, of course we created already it's here and Let's type some comments here and say uh, the end of the timer CSS codes so later on we don't get confused by these codes and now we can say and start uh, mm, display grid display grid we have to create um, two rows two columns right two rows two columns um, Create template columns, one fraction and one fraction. Create template rows, one fraction and one fraction. So let's create a width and height for this container width uh, should be the same size of the container mm, let me bring all of these codes up beside the container so we can work with it more smoothly smoothly and the width should be the same size of the container width why our container doesn't have any width
I'm going to use my ruler here to calculate the weight of our container manually. So the weight is 757. 757 pixel and the height should be like 191 191 And I think it's gone behind the maze. So we have to put a display block for container. Display block, display block. Can I use two display because one display is grid, one display is block? Can display be grid and at the same time black? Oh, I think I understand the problem. We put this um, answer of T in the container while it should be outside the container, right? So um, let me remove this inline block and get back here, print the div tag outside the container, right? So now if I check the it's gone here under the timer so you have to use position relative right position relative and we have to relative it to the container So position relative and if I if it's position relative it should be under the parent tag, right? So how I bring it back to the container? or no I can use a very simple method like top left corner to give it the um, position 
like from the left. We need four hundred six, four hundred six pixels from the top. From the left, why didn't it just change its position? Okay, now we need to make it a little bit to the left, so Let's remove these six pixels. That fits. Now um, let's make this right corner a, t a little bit smaller. I mean the width. It can be two zero. It's better. Now from the top we wanted to um, something like 505 505 Oops, get too much. Um, it's good. Now that we have created this section, we can add some answers to it, right? Like these four answers, these four buttons. And we already spent about 20 minutes um, today. That's enough for today. I'm going to uh, complete this tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.